Hmm. The Battle of the Ones. Battle hmm. of the Ones. Who came out harder? Hmm. I enjoy Battle of the Ones, you know. Battle of the Ones is a good, good I, I, comparison. I enjoy topic. it even more when, it, when they're from different brands, like they are from. Oh, that's the best ones. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Especially when it's Adidas versus Nike. Yeah, yeah. they're low key ambassadors. <sighs> let's, let's, let's see who comes out on top. Yo, what is up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back again with another video. And for those who have not read the title just yet, but I know you have, so that's why you clicked it. I don't even know why I say this in the video. I don't know why, but... Today, we're taking a look at the Nike Zoom Freak 1 versus the Adidas Don Issue 1s. It's the Battle of the Ones once again. Ooh. Let's get it. Yeah. Firstly, massive shout out to The Plug, AKA Pro Direct Basketball. If you would like any of these two amazing basketball sneakers, head over to our description box below, click the link to the Pro Direct Basketball website where they will take care of you. But before you do that, as per usual, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Like this video, show your support like you guys always do. Comment down below what your thoughts are on the Zoom Freak 1 or the Don Issue 1. And of course, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video. video. That sounds lovely. That was a good one. Yanis under the Kumpo Ooh. and Donovan Mitchell both now have their first signature shoe with these two respective brands. I mean, the Don Issue ones, if you haven't seen a performance review, is, an, is a decent basketball it's sneaker. It's up there. It's, it's in the game. There. It's in the game. It's a shoe made for bouncy guards, Facts. bouncy players, just like the man himself. And the Zoom Freak ones, again, if you haven't seen the performance review, they're in absolute madness. Yeah, again. Both these players are doing crazy stuff with both these brands, bro. Young boys in the game. It's exciting to see. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Starting things off with the aesthetics. Now we know it's not performance based, we get that. Yep. But it's low-key the most important one. Now, it is the most important which one. one looks best? I'm going with the Freak one. I'm going with the Freak one too. That's what I thought. Yeah, it's now clean. it's tough. Because the Don Issue 1 colorways are sending me. Yeah, 100%. There's three or four out right now you can cop. All of them are fantastic. My boat wants to go this side, sorry to cut you off. Because of the Spider-Man connection. I hear that. And the whole Marvel team. I do hear that. I do hear that. However, the colorways are now available in the Freak 1. It's sleek. It's sexy. It's to the point. It needs business. Yeah, yeah, come yeah. on. Come yeah, on, come on. Come on, 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 on. Coming to America? Come on. Yeah, let's move on. Next up, talking about traction. Now over here in the Don Issue Ones, we have the Spider Leg Man Multi-Directional Modified Herringbone oh, wow. Traction Pattern. Oh, wow. And it was decent. I enjoyed it. It was decent. I did enjoy it. It was decent, you know yeah. what I mean? Right, right. I mean, the outsole is flat. Yep. And the grooves are quite um, close together. Yep. So it did contribute to a bit of dust collection. True. We're not happy with that. But once you wipe them down, they're calm. Clean quartz, you're calm. But yeah, the traction was all right. Look, on this side, I'm not gonna lie, there's some similarities. Now, in the Freak One, we have Rose Runner traction pattern. Yeah. yeah by that Mage Runner inspired traction on the solid, and then that Rose, which is inspired by his dad on the translucent parts. Yeah. Talking about dust collection, yes, there was a bit. Maybe a little too much for my liking. Uh, yeah. Because when it was clean, hmm. Yeah. But that goes for most shoes. Well, you wipe them off, you're good to go, but still a good traction pattern, just a bunch of dust. So it's almost a battle of who got less dust. In this case, I think it was Don Issue 1's, bro. Don Issue 1 got a little bit less dust. And also that solid rubber. I'll take both of these outdoors as well. I hear that. But I think but I'd rather take these ones because of that solid rubber. I feel like they'd last a little longer still. Yeah, yeah I hear that. So that's why the plant goes over here as well. Next up, talking about the cushioning. And in the Freak One, we have that Phylon Carrier yep. with the double stacked zoom bag in the heel. Zoom squared. What? Zoom squared. Now, we're not the biggest fans of heel zoom. Heel zoom don't, don't get me wrong, we don't not like it. We just know that there's four foot available. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But in this shoe, it was cozy. I felt it, it the double step, the zoom squared did its thing. I felt it, it was cozy. And the file on itself was a little softer than regular as well. So I messed with them a lot. I messed with them a lot, they were cozy. Over here, we have a full length bounce. I shouldn't even say full length bounce because whenever Adidas puts bounce into their shoes, it's always full length. That's how it is. So we'll just say bounce, all right? Yeah. But the reason I made the point of saying it is full length 
because it is not full length over on that side to me. All right, and that is one of my problems with some Nike basketball shoes. No. Is that I feel like they hold back. I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know I don't why. Know. No, you know I mean, you've got a little point. A little one. You no. say we. It's not that we don't like heel zoom. No. But someone needs to convince me why heel zoom someone is better. That. Yeah than four foot zoom or that. why some may prefer. I need that convincing. Or I agree just with that. if you can zoom square the thing, why don't you just do full length zoom? Or four yeah. foot and heel. You've used two bags in the heel when you could have used one in the one. Cheeky Timmy, come on bro. Nah, that's kinda of cheeky. No, you guys that's a good point. That's a very good point. So the point gotta go over here now. With that good point, the point must also head over there. I mean bounces for the bouncy bro. Bounces for the bouncy. Bounces for the bouncy. It's a good question. it's a good question. It's just great question. Thank you. Throughout. Next up, talking about the materials, or as Timmy likes to say, the materials. Now in both these shoes, we have textile mesh. Yep. And the only shoe ones, we have textile mesh with Spider-Man inspired Ooh. details. I said inspired very loudly because I just messed it up like six times just before, <laughs> okay? And the Zoom Freak ones, we also have textile mesh, but it's a little different. It's a little bit. A little different. Now, the Spider-Man inspired details is actually an underlay. Yeah. in the Don issue ones. So it's almost you can see it, there's a little white, white thread underneath the textile mesh. Yeah. Now it's not quite Spider-Man inspired, but in the Freak 1 you've got that same yarn on top. So that underlay becomes an overlay. Don't know what that is. I like them in both. I do. But I prefer them in the Freak. I do. The overlay really made it feel more premium to touch mm -hmm. and it just felt nicer on foot. I yeah. felt like they broke in really well. They were super flexible, which you don't really get in textile mesh. They just felt light, breathable, flexible, and that's what you get when you get mesh, but they kind of take all three of those boxes a little better than the Don Issue ones. Agreed. All right then, don't have to fight for that one. I'll take that. So next up, talking about the fit. Now here in the Zoom Freak 1, it's a great fit in shoe. Facts. We just spoke about it in the materials. That textile mesh was breathable, it was lightweight, it was flexible. Breaking time was pretty low. Yeah. The half booty construction made the shoe, made your foot just kind of slip in and the yeah. shoe feel incredible almost straight away. I loved it. It was just close to foot and it was a true to size as well. Yeah. Can't be mad at that. Can't be mad at that. Can't be mad at that. Over here on this side, we also have a great fitting shoe. Yeah. Now in the comments section of the performance review, some of you were saying that you had to go down half a size which isn't great, nah, right? We good. felt like it was quite true to size. It was, it felt that but way. But if the general consensus is saying that you have to go down half a size, then I guess you guys are, you guys are right. We're, we're a team, we're, we're doing this team. together. We appreciate that, 100%. 100%. Now, this shoe also has that half um, booty construction as yeah. well, which also feels really nice. The materials also conform nicely, break in nicely. We also have these heel cushion pods as well, which also add to the fit of the shoe. Do help. This shoe is made for the athletic, explosive guard so the fit does have to be a1 i agree is it a1 i'm not too sure mm. but the shoe does fit really well which shoe fits better i'm gonna have to go with the zoom freak ones the fit is also really nice over here yeah. but if you're asking between these two my, my vote goes over i think we're going a1 a2 yeah it's up there maybe a1.5 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 i'm with that i'm with that moving on swiftly to support this is where things get a little exciting to me just a little bit a little bit. In the Don Issue ones, we have a medley, a concoction of things mm. that really make this a great supportive shoe. And I'm going to start off with the propulsion clip. Oh, okay. Absolutely amazing. Okay. Lateral stability. It's also connected to the lacing system of the shoe. So when you lace up, you really feel that propulsion clip conform to the foot, which is absolutely amazing. We also have the cushioning system, which is really thick. And as you can see, it comes up all the way in the heel and adds two heel counter to make it almost like a double heel counter. The outsole of the shoe is also flat and that makes the shoe very stable, which is exactly what you want if you're a high flying explosive dunker like Donovan Mitchell <laughs> and myself. So the support in the shoe was absolutely amazing. I'm not gonna lie, you smacked that one still. You, you reeled them off. I really did. You reeled it off. I, I can't really front. Did. I'm gonna give it a shot. On this side, <laughs> the Zoom Freak 1 also had the supportive elements. Yep. Now we're talking Giannis, for goodness sake. One of the most explosive players in the game. He's a guard, looks like a big man. So he's gonna need a supportive shoe. We do have the outrigger shape as well. We do have our midsole come up as a double heel counter as well, along with the rubber outsole and the internal as well. 
There is a little bit of padding around the ankle area, but not a lot, but still some. The support, I didn't mention it actually in the uh, fit as well, but the Four Brother Lace Loops does the trick. Really in the forefoot, you really yeah. feel locked down, especially where you need locked to explode. Down. It banged. I really, really enjoyed them. I did enjoy their support in these shoes. It was surprisingly supportive, considering was, yeah. the way the shoe looks. Yeah. And he's been playing in Kobe's and all that jazz. It's a surprisingly supportive shoe. Is it more supportive than the Donny shoe ones? No. I was gonna say that, but he jumped in before I could, so no worries. So the point goes to the Donny shoe ones. Yes, it does. Thank you very much. Last and most certainly not least. The price slash value in both of these shoes. Yeah. The Zoom Freak ones is priced at 105 pounds. You said that was too much. Money. Three digits. Wow. Pounds. We're counting digits. Whereas the Don Issue ones is priced at a lovely, affordable 85 oh. pounds. Now it's wild though. That, it almost sounds environmentally friendly to me. I, I, hear I, hear I hear that. I hear that. I feel like you're you doing a saying? bit more for the planet. When you price a shoe at 85, I, 85 I, I pounds, have much you're to saving say. 25 to 20 pounds, bro. I don't have much to say about that. Yeah, I mean, you're saving 20 pounds, you can buy socks, Damn. you can buy two pairs of socks. 85 pounds. You can jump on product right now, jump on their sales section and get some shorts for yourself too. 85 pounds. Bro, you can even, hey, two oh. movie tickets. You can get two movie tickets. Oh, maybe, I'm you, not sure. You, you two can put child on these. Ones. Two child ones. Two child ones, yeah, I hear that, yeah. Kids. Tickets are getting, <laughs> getting expensive now. out here still. Go movies on a Monday. You get half price tickets, so you can get four of those tickets. Anyway, this shoe is cheaper and you save your money. The scores are free free so far, so they're pretty much on the similar levels when it comes to performance. Yeah. But for these to be priced 20 pounds less, the point has to go over here. It has to. It does. It really does. It does. And that makes my day. So, looking at the scores, you did that way too early. Can I, I, can I finish the sentence? Yeah, maybe? keep going, bro. I'm just gonna hold these out here. To prompt you, to prompt you, just to make sure you say the right things. Fine. It's four free to the Donish you ones. It took the cake. It took the cake. It took bro. the cake with value. Every and slice. And it makes sense. Every slice. No, not all the slices. It took Every four. single it slice. It took four of them. Uh, it took four of them. There were seven. It took four. Three of them went this side. It's all magic. You know what though, Timmy? Talk to me. I might prefer the slices on that side. Ooh, that's your shoe though. This is my shoe. I'm rooting for these shoes, but that shoe, the Zoom Freak Ones, might be my rotation, whereas this shoe might, not make, might not make it. Fam, I'm with you. I know we said the value is, is damn near untouchable. I yeah. don't see that shoe losing in value in any comparison we do. No, nope. I just don't. However, if I had the 105, yeah, and I could get the 20 pound change, yep. don't know if I want the 20 pound change. Well, if I, I had 85 I pounds, one. I might, Search around for another twenty pound for those right there. I might look inside the couch, see what I can yeah, find. I might ask my mum. I might ask have... Mumsy. Yeah. Right. Ask for some discount when I get to the store. Yeah. I don't know. I might want to go for yeah, it. I might even ask you to help me out. That's bro. fair. Yeah. I'll, that was my next option. Jokes aside, the reason why I prefer the Zoom Freak ones is because I feel like the Don issue ones may be more on the heavy side. Mm. It's not that noticeable when you put these shoes, both these shoes on, sorry, but this shoe definitely is a little bit heavier. Now, I hear all that, but for me, I just can't get over how comfortable this shoe is. The yeah. materials are lovely and the fit is amazing. When you yeah. combine those two, it just feels great. The phylum was lovely. The double stacked heel zoom, yes, they should have put one and one, but they put two in the heel and it did feel comfortable. And I just preferred hooping in them. Like all in all, I preferred hooping in the freak one. And I think that just goes to show, the comparisons are there. Yeah. We make them for you guys. We, took, we break down everything we can. But at the end of the day, it's all preference. Doesn't mean the Zoom Freak 1 is a bad shoe or doesn't even necessarily mean it's a worse shoe than the Don Issue 1s. It's up to you. We made the video, you decide. Now that's everything from us. Like we mentioned before, if you like either of these shoes, head over to the description box below, click the link to the ProRec Basketball website where they will take care of you. But before you do that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like this video, show your support to your boys like you guys always do. Of course, comment down below which shoe you prefer. Is yeah. it the Don Issue 1 or is it the Zoom Freak 1? Have you tried out both? Are you going to be picking one up? Which one are you going to be picking up after watching this video? We'd love to know. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video. Hit it. Smack it with both hands. <laughs>
<laughs> so sick. So right guys, that's it from us. This is the Nike Zoom Freak 1. The Adidas Fun Issue 1s. We're Pure Kicks. Let's, Let's get, get it. it.